Spring Framework. The main goal of Spring Framework is goal of Spring Framework is to make J2E application development was easier. The main goal of Spring Framework is to make J2E application development was easier. Okay, now the main goal of this Spring Boot is goal of this Spring Boot is to make to make Spring application development development was easier was easier was easier that means there are some drawbacks are available in our j2e applications that's why you know spring framework was addressed all these drawbacks there are spring itself has agreed that there are some drawbacks is there in spring application of okay, development due to these drawbacks you know so our um, developer okay development time is taking more time team due to this okay drawbacks developer is taking okay development time is overcome this these problems okay spring boot was introduced into the market team now just to quickly now here see now here spring boot now here spring using spring so what are the now here what are the drawbacks team okay, what are the drawbacks so drawbacks of this spring spring framework what are the okay, drawbacks of this spring framework team number one so one is okay more boilerplate code team one is more boilerplate code team now okay, second one more boilerplate code okay, second one dependency management is is too hard the third one team third one is is manual configuration manual configuration third one is manual configuration third one is manual configuration now fourth one is fourth one is okay now here c team non does not support does not support non functional requirements non functional requirements that is we have to enable to, we have to enable okay, explicitly we have to enable okay explicitly means we have to uh, you know uh, okay how to set up manually team okay team now the next one team okay fifth one fifth one so external server external server team okay now see these many okay drawbacks are there using spring framework these many the drawbacks are there using spring framework team which was like a discussed in our yesterday's class so now okay yesterday's class we will be okay deployed into okay youtube team what was the okay, demo if any anyone want to okay, refresh today after 10 am you can see this okay yesterday's okay, class okay demo team just for continuing this okay, yesterday's class so these are the okay, drawbacks with there your spring framework okay, applications so what our spring boot will do spring boot spring boot will overcome spring boot will overcome all this drawbacks team spring boot will overcome all these drawbacks
So I would say spring okay spring boot okay spring framework drawbacks is nothing but now spring boot future setting we will overcome all these drawbacks with the spring boot future setting with the spring boot features now what are the spring boot features are there very very important team if most of the interviews are asking hey can you explain what are the spring boot features now the first feature of the okay, spring boot is called it will reduce will reduce it will completely removes removes boiler plate coating it will completely removes boiler plate coating completely removes boiler plate coat okay next one dependency management dependency management is easy is easy it's the help of it's the help of starter dependencies it is the help of spring boot starter dependencies what are starter dependencies i would explain to him what are the starter dependencies i would explain it's the help of starter dependencies team now how do one team auto configurations auto configuration that means using spring boot you don't need to configure anything i would say team zero configuration i would say zero configuration team developer no need to focus on how to configure the beans how to apply the uh, dependency injection like setter injector no everything configuration stuff would be taken care by whom team your spring boot see how much how much you know okay advantages so using spring boot you don't need to zero configurations i would say not zero no configurations no need to configure xml no xml config no java config nothing team now fourth one is it supports non functional requirements non functional requirements with the help of actuator team spring boot actuators how the actuator will work how to do all we'll see practically team now next one team the one very very beautiful concept is called embedded server embedded server team if your application is okay, running on cloud this embedded server is mandatory embedded server means server inside the application inside the application okay inside means server embedded inside the application is called is called embedded server inside the application inside the application or embedded the application is called embedded server is called embedded server team understood team now next one last one spring boot two tools two tools means you can develop our tools okay so using this it improves so without without compile and okay without 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 compile and redeploy the changes into server by the developer that means for any change development change 
will it will do auto compile and deploy and redeploy redeploy into server it will do auto compile and re redeploy into server team redeploy into server team understood team so these are the six futures team if anyone is asking of interviewer so what are the the you know spring boot features means one is it will remove the buyer plate code another one is dependency management is easy with the help of spring boot starter dependencies another one is auto configuration auto configurations means zero configurations that means developer no need to add this xml config and java config team another one is actuators it supports for the non functional requirements team another one is embedded server server inside the application is called embedded server team another one is dev tools that means developer tools for any development change it will uh, it will do auto compile and redeploy into server team okay team now that's all team now next to questions team if you see most of the interviews are asking hey what is the spring boot version most of the interviews are asking what is the spring boot version you have used in your project team people are confusing and people are giving answer is 5.x 4.x this one thing see it's wrong the moment you started with the 4 and 5 is we will decide okay this guy is not working on spring boot see now spring boot version is latest to version of spring boot is latest to spring boot version is 2.6.6 2.6.6 which has released in which has released into market on 31st march 2022 see now where it is there start see this is latest version team always go to start.spring.io you may ask sir 3 is there 3 point no these are all snapshot versions snapshot means still development is currently going on your spring team is doing development currently don't know when it will be released but without snapshot means 2.6.6 and 2.5.13 i mean 12 understood team now if the if you will be asking hey what is the spring version you are using latest spring version is you will tell 5.x version you will tell 5.x version but spring boot version even you are happy you you could tell either 2.6.6 or you will tell 2.5.2 or 2.6.4 or you will tell 2.5.12 2.5.12 it's all depends team it's all depends how how you could able to write it understood so 2.5.12 2.6.4 2.6.16 understood team so depends you may write the is you write this but you should not tell 5.x you should be stop within 2.x only team understood now okay team now okay, next one team see now so most of the interviews team first we would start our project you know asking questions on why spring boot i should learn 
now what is the okay, version of the spring boot that's all if you will okay, explain properly this we are good team we are good so okay team now okay next one team so using spring we can develop we can develop all the types of applications you can develop all the types of applications team all the types of applications like standalone applications now web application now distributed applications okay team standalone application web application distributed applications reactive based applications batch applications implement of security so what this the spring guys will do hey to implement all these features spring guys has introduced some module team those modules are called spring core modules those modules are called spring mvc module those modules are called distributed applications now here you may have so based applications so or okay, okay rest based applications spring web mvc comma spring mvc comma reactive applications spring reactive one model is there batch applications spring batch is there security applications means spring of security is there so what this spring guys is given for every type of the applications spring framework has provided one modules this model will take care to bring all this required libraries or jars to develop this standalone applications to develop this standalone application team to develop this standalone applications team okay team so now i would say using spring boot using spring boot also we can develop all these types of applications using spring boot also we can develop all these types of okay, applications team but i would say spring boot is equal spring boot is equal all spring modules team to to work with the spring boot we should have knowledge on we should have knowledge on all the spring modules we should have knowledge on all the spring modules team it's not like that means spring boot is not replacement of spring framework Spring Boot is not replaced. Most of the people are feeling like is Spring Boot is a replacement of Spring Framework. No, Spring Boot is not replacement of Spring. Spring Boot is not replacement of Spring Framework. Spring Boot is is used to used to reduce is used to Spring Boot focuses let developer developer will only developer will only focus on only focus on business logics only focus on business logics now now okay remaining remaining all things okay remaining all the th things will be taken care by remaining all the th things will be taken care by who spring now developer no need to worry about no need to worry about no here configuration no need to worry about external deployment no need to worry about right to buy and plate code everything who will take care by 
your Spring Boot will take care of everything. Spring Boot is focus. Let developer will, you know, okay, Spring Boot will focus. Let developer will only, only, only work on, on only work on, okay, development. Only, only work on, okay, development like, right, business logics and all, okay. Remaining all the things will be taken care by remaining all the things will be taken care by spring boot team okay spring boot understood team okay. are we good till now team or any questions here are we good till now okay team now see that means you should work on all these models team but using spring your development will be a very, very fast team using spring boot the development very fast very fast and improves developer productivity spring boot is development will be very fast and improve developer productivity any questions team here till now are we good team ashok deep the nagesh all all good till now yeah team are you there team Nagesh, Vishnu. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, team. Now, let us see, team. Now, first one. First one. I want to explain this basics now, team. Basics means like one line. Next, we will go for okay, in depth, team. So, now we are going to see. We are going to see note note team what is the note here using spring boot using spring boot we can it is if spring framework will take six hours time to set up the application Whereas Spring Boot will take Mac five minutes time to set up the see how much advantage with the Spring Boot than Spring Framework. How it happens, what it happens, now we'll see practicality. No Spring Boot features. First feature is called team. First feature is called why dependency management is easier. How dependency management is easier in Spring Boot team. Oh, here see i would say very very important i would say spring boot was introduced to introduced two types of two types of dependencies one is spring boot Starter parent. Another one is Spring Boot Starter Spring Boot Starter Parent. Another one is Spring Boot Starter. XXX 
where xx is equal to boot starter web xx is equal to spring boot starter kdbc where xx is equal to spring boot starter web jdbc and also security and also all there are so many spring boot starter data there are so many so many now here starter dependencies are there i would say dependency management is easier with the help of spring boot parent form with the help of spring boot starter form first i would explain to him what is spring boot parent form now very very important team screen integrated integrating and supporting for many open source third party libraries small thing is jackson small thing is jackson jackson what this okay, jackson will do jackson is used to to convert json to java object and java object to json JSON to Java object and Java object to JSON. Understood team. To convert JSON to Java object and Java object to JSON. Done. Now, another framework is called validator. Another framework is called Redis Cache. Another framework is called MongoDB and so on. Another is called our our Spring Core, Spring Core all modules, Spring MVC and all. What the Spring Boot parent will do? Hey developers, we have different versions in market. We have okay, different versions in market team, okay, Spring Boot versions. Spring Boot version here. Spring Boot version and here spring framework and its spring framework and its its third party spring framework and its third party libraries version It's a third party libraries version. That means I would explain to you. Please try to understand. I will show you practical look everything to you. Now, if you are using boot. 1.x version. Now what happened, you know? Spring core 3.x. Maybe 
not exact versions are same team i am telling spring core spring mvc spring jdbc spring core spring mvc spring jdbc Okay, now Jackson one point X validator two point X Jackson one point X validator two point X Hibernate three point X so you don't need to worry about these versions in your project you should worry about spring boot version what spring boot version you are using this parent form will provide the all the versions of your spring framework and spring related third party libraries suppose if you are working spring boot 2.x that means 2.3.5 something. Now what happened? Now here, story would be same here. Same means whatever here versions are okay supported here. Same versions team, but here new versions. What are the new new versions here? Spring Core, Spring MVC, Spring JDBC. These versions may be a 4.x, okay? And Jackson may be a 2.x and validator, you know, and okay, validator may be a, some 3.x, Hibernate may be a, some 4.x, okay, something. Hope you are understand team so parent version is used to parent version is used to 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 provide all this all the all the spring framework and it's a third party libraries framework you know versions only would be available based on the spring boot versions this these versions also would be varied team based on the spring boot versions these versions also would be varied team Understood team. Now, last one. Spring Boot latest version. Spring Boot 2.6.6. No problem. Then what you will do? You need to integrate it with all this, all this version. See here, Spring Boot 5.6. Action 2.5.7. Validator 4.x something, Hibernate 5.x something, that's it. So here, Spring Boot parent form is used to, Spring Boot parent form is used to, so Spring Boot parent form is used to declare, declare, is used to declare or configure is usually to declare or configure 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 spring framework spring framework configure spring framework and its their their third party their third party related Spring Boot parent form is used to declaring or configuring Spring Framework and its their third party related versions information team. 
only only versions i will show you practically tomorrow how the okay versions will be happen and all i will show you practically team now step number two team what is the step number two spring board very 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 important team starter dependencies what is spring boot starter dependencies now spring boot starter web i want to develop web application i should add starter web if you want to develop reactive applications spring boot starter web to develop web application there are so many jars are required to develop a web application how many jars are required generally to develop develop the web application we may required we may required number 1 application we may required spring core is required we may required spring of mvc is required we may required spring web mvc is required we, we may required spring jdbc is required we may required okay, hibernate is required jackson is required jackson what is jackson if you don't know i will explain to him later okay, don't worry hey instead of remembering all this okay, dependencies by the developer developer is is very okay, difficult to okay, remember all these jars what this spring boot will do spring boot is given a concept is called spring boot starter if you give web right it will provide it will provide the required dependencies spring boot starter and web means it provides it it provides all the required dependencies developer no need to remember any dependencies developer no need to remember any dependencies if you add only spring boot type web if you add only spring boot web in in your project who will provide all these things developer uh, no okay who will provide all the required okay, dependencies your spring boot will do hey developer no need to okay, remember all the okay, required dependencies no need to okay, remember all the okay, required okay, dependencies hey your application is what type of okay, application it is it is a web application type your spring boot will bring automatically all the required jars to develop web application understood team see who will provide the versions versions will be provided by your spring boot parent palm but spring boot starter dependency is it is used to it will pull the required dependency of all that web application earlier we used to remember all this manually we used to go for you know uh, if you get some error you used to go for google and type it this error what type of a dependency it is we we were okay, struggled a lot with these okay, dependencies now you don't need to worry spring boot starter web it is used to it is used to pull it is used to get the get the get all the all the required dependencies to develop boot is used to to get all the required dependencies to develop the application to develop a application understood team to develop the application so now 
only jars will bring all the required dependencies developers should remember for what spring boot starter kdvc only starter dependencies you should remember instead of remembering you have okay 10 15 dependencies you should remember for what only only starter dependencies the starter dependencies will bring all the required okay, dependencies it is so it will it is usual to get all the required dependencies all the okay, required okay, dependencies to develop KDBC applications. That's it. See, like that, we have this so many starter dependencies here. So many, so many starter dependencies are there. What are the starter dependencies and all? I would explain okay, tomorrow's team very clear. I will show you practically what is the Spring Boot parent palm and what is the Spring Boot starter palm. I will give one diagram. Tomorrow I will show you practically how the Spring Boot parent palm and starter palm will be there. Understood team? Hope. Okay, are we clear team till now? Are you following me? Everyone team. Team, are you clear team? Yes. Okay. Now we will see. Hey, we'll start uh, okay, tomorrow. I will continue tomorrow, team. Well, what is this in depth of how this really this Spring Boot starter will help? How this Spring Boot starter dependencies will work? I will show you practically, you know, how much okay, advantage with these two, you know, these two okay, dependencies for dependency management is easier. Is easier, team. Spring Boot latest version. Latest version. Advanced topics like like cloud deployment, how to dockerization, how to implement Kafka, how to implement Redis Cache. One thing is how you will be, you know, practice and all. It's up to your wish team okay once this okay spring boot is done now we'll go for micro services team this is pre requesting is spring boot is mandatory without spring boot you can't understand this micro services understood team spring boot with spring cloud module Spring Cloud module is used for to develop microservices in Java team. Develop microservices in Java team. Understood team. So let's see. Okay, tomorrow we'll continue this. How this internally will work for the dependency management is easier team. Okay, next one. Those who are interested, send mail to Sino Technologies at the rate gmail.com team so that we'll, we will start. We will create a telegram group to send all these notes every day and if any some videos okay, every day. Okay, team. Now, so please send okay, interested in people to, I mean, okay, confirmation in subject. Yes, I'm interested to join this. Spring Boot and Micro Services team. Like that, you should be, you know, okay, informed to your team member team. Okay, understood, sir. Are any questions? Okay, you can ask me, please.